Hello, and welcome to IT Convergence's User Productivity Kit tutorial series. This is a demonstration of how to do edits to the recorded sound in the UPK Developer. The UPK Developer includes a full, feature-rich sound recorder and editor, enabling a content author to easily add and edit sound to any level of the UPK player output. You can edit sound frame by frame or across frames on a topic to improve the audio content and enhance the end user experience. When working with sound recorded over a series of frames, you may need to adjust where the sound begins and or ends on a specific frame. To set the start of frame sound, click the location in the waveform of the frame where you want the current frame sound to start, and then click set start of frame sound icon. To set the end of frame sound, click the location in the waveform of a frame where you want the current frame sound to end, and then click set end of frame sound icon. When editing sound, you may want to discard some extraneous sound before and after your edited sound. You can make these adjustments by cropping sound with Crop Sound to Selection by selecting the sound you want to keep. Click and drag in the waveform to select the piece of sound you wish to crop. Then click Crop to Selection icon. All frame sound in the waveform that is outside the selection set is replaced with the selection. When working with sound in the sound editor, the waveform often displays sound across more than one frame. The ability to zoom makes it easier to keep track of the frame sound on which you are working. To zoom from the current frame, in the zoom menu, click zoom to current frame. The current frame is displayed in the middle of the waveform with portions of the previous and next frame on either side. To zoom to the previous and next frames, from the Zoom menu, click Zoom to Previous and Next Frame. The entire previous, current, and next frame is displayed in the waveform. To zoom to the selected piece of sound, left click and drag in the waveform to select the piece of sound you want to zoom. From the Zoom menu, click Zoom to Selection. The selected sound only displays in the waveform. You can add silence to the end of the waveform to extend the timeline. On the Options drop-down list, choose Extended Timeline. Select the amount of silence to be added to the spin box control and then click OK. Adding silence allows you to add a user-specified amount of silence at the point selected in the waveform. Select an insertion point in the waveform. On the Options drop-down list, choose Add Silence. Select the amount of silence to be added using the spin box control and click OK. Amplify allows you to increase or decrease the audio signal of the selected sound resulting in louder or softer sound. Left click and drag in the waveform to select a sound to amplify. On the options drop down list, choose Amplify. Increase or decrease the amplification using the slider or spin box control and click OK. This concludes our tutorial on how to edit sound in the Oracle UPK developer. On behalf of IT Convergence, I would like to thank you for your time and invite you to join IT Convergence's YouTube channel where you can learn more about the User Productivity Kit features and functions.